Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. With the new year comes of course new repairs. So in today's video we have this iPhone 12 Pro that came from another service after glass repair with restarting or hanging on Apple logo problem. So this one is not reading the battery correct and that is causing the hanging on Apple logo and restarting problem. So first I'll be showing you the device issue so you can understand what is going on. And you can see I'm just speed forwarding a little bit because the device needs a very long time to boot up. And uh, of course it's plugged in the charger, but it's not charging because as I said, it's not reading the battery correct. Now let's just go to settings just to show you that uh, it just keeps surging uh, for the battery health, but uh, you can show that there is no battery because it's not reading the battery correct. I remove the charger, the device just hangs up and that is the problem. So obviously we'll need to open the device and then start to check what is going on inside and if it's a problem with the battery or the board. So let's go. So as I said, we are going with the simplest diagnostics, which first will be trying a new battery and as you can see with another battery, the phone turns on, not restarting and also remain on without charging cable. Now of course it will uh, say unknown parts because of Apple software, hardware security with non-genium batteries, but let me just connect uh, the device to three tools just to show you that everything is okay, that the device is reading the battery. You can see it's just saying low battery. I'm just going to turn on my OBS. And here we go. And now let's plug in the device to our computer and check with three tools. And as you can see, we have a 100%, that means, and of course the cycle count, that means that the phone is reading the battery correctly, obviously another battery. And now after that I will connect the original battery again and see if we get the same results. That means that we have a problem with the battery, obviously, and we'll check the battery flex under the uh, microscope. Again, restarting. So that means we will jump under the microscope. Let's go. So here we have the original battery, and by the way, if you ever lost the serial number of the original battery, you can find it at the back of the battery cell. Uh, so now let's just begin with the flex. The iPhone 12 and 12 Pro has the same battery with this uh, crooked flex. Let's just check it completely. Maybe the other repair shop damaged it or something. And uh, let me just focus a little bit on the flex. I'm just trying to make it straight, just to make sure if we have any uh, damage on the flex and uh, yes as you can see uh, there is a small wrap on the flex uh, especially on the data line I guess uh, let's just check it from the other side if it's get uh, if it's got deeper yes uh, also uh, you can see that uh, it got a little deeper to the side of the flex to the other side of the flex which means that we have a disconnection between the BMS flex and the connector now we have two options here to repair. First option is just to change the battery to another one and you will have the unknown, bar, uh, unknown parts or important battery message. Of course, if you have Apple, the official Genium parts, that's a whole different story. Or the other option, which is the second option, the swap the flex, which means we need to transfer the EEPROM or the IC that has the cycle and health information to another fully working flex. We'll be going with the option two today, so follow me step by step if you have the same problem so we can get our original battery working again with the new flex and no important battery message. First things first, uh, we will be removing the new BMS flex from a working battery with a good flex and then we'll be removing the original BMS flex to swap the prom. Uh, so be, please be careful while removing the stickers because you may just damage the flex uh, very easily. And uh, I guess uh, I'll be <laughs> uh, speed, uh, speed forwarding uh, all the process and uh, catch you uh, uh, then under the microscope. So in iPhone 12 series there's only one chip that has both the cycle and health information stored on it. Before you try to remove it safely you need to remove all the stickers clean the glue very well and there is a little compound on all the, uh, the BMS and plastic cover to prevent any water damage also needs to be cleaned and removed. So this is the fully working BMS with fully working battery flex. We will clean and get this board ready for the original EEPROM chip. Now this repair is not only when you have a broken BMS flex like wrapped or something, 
also can happen when uh, also can happen when you change uh, the battery and damage the DBM, DBMS itself uh, with too much heat. Uh, to be honest, happened with me a lot with the iPhone 11 because of the thin BMS, but managed to get the temperature right to avoid this kind of work. Uh, now remember, this is a very delicate work, so take your time, don't use too much heat, don't use too much force to avoid any breaks in the BMS. I use only 160 Celsius with 50 air to clean the glue, and for removing the chip with my soldering iron, only 360 Celsius with this tip that I'm going to use over here. Uh, so, uh, the working BMS uh, is kind of ready, just a uh, couple of touches, couple of cleaning, and the uh, fully working BMS will be good to go. And just clean for the last time. I have shiny pads. So, this the working BMS is ready for the chip. We will jump to the original BMS and we'll move the chip to uh, solder it on the working BMS. Let's go. Same process as before, but we'll remove or desolder the EE prom with our hot air station or hot air gun. Uh, here you will need to be more careful because the chip is very thin and don't apply a lot of force while removing it because it could just break very easily. And I'm using only 280 to 290 degrees Celsius with 30 air just to remove the chip. And of course the same to uh, clean the glue as before. Uh, after removing it, we'll uh, reboil the chip with 183 uh, degree soldering paste. Yes, not the low temperature, the 138, the 183 degree Celsius soldering paste because we will, we will apply a little heat while soldering both anode and cathode to the BMS after or before we solder the uh, EEPRO. So now uh, we are going to reboil, just cleaning the compound. And cleaning the pads, very thin IC to be honest, and you need to be very careful with this IC. And now the reboiling and uh, the soldering process. Let's go. Now for the soldering, you have two options. First is soldering the EEPROM and then the anode and the cathode. On the second is soldering the anode and the cathode and solder the EEPROM after that. I'll be going with option 2 again, the cathode is very hard to solder to be honest, but I will try my best. Or you can also go uh, just to solder the, uh, the cathode or the anode and then uh, solder the chip and after that uh, solder the anode or the cathode. But if you're going to solder uh, both poles, be very careful while soldering the EEPROM because once you solder the both poles, that means that there's a voltage coming from the battery to the BMS, which can burn the chip or any other component. So again, I'm struggling a little bit with the uh, cathode, but I managed to solder it. And also don't forget the uh, direction of the chip, which is up. Let me just protect the battery with our sticker. Here we go. And now we're going to solder the, the chip, and after that we'll be going uh, testing the battery and see if the phone turns on and charges normally with the original battery but other BMS. Alrighty, now for the final test, uh, it's not my finest work to be honest, or the cleanest work, but uh, let me just put the sticker and now I'm going to just speed forward all the process and you can see that the phone is charging, I'm going to show you uh, on my USB tester how much uh, the phone takes when it's charged, when it's charged, uh, let me just show you, and you can see Two amps, that means that the phone is charging and of course reading the battery, but the real test will be when the phone turns on. So I'm just going to speed forward until the phone turns on and then uh, show you uh, the charging process of course and you can see the phone turns on and now we're going to uh, of course unlock the phone, go to settings and uh, to the battery settings just to show you that uh, we don't have a important battery message and that means that the battery uh, is uh, 
the original one and you can see that it shows the maximum capacity and uh, that means that uh, the chip uh, the transfer chip or the swap chip to the other um, BMS is successful and I guess I'm just going to leave the phone that, uh, just to show you that the phone does charge and uh, I guess yeah that's it for this video uh, if you have this problem you can just as I said swap the chip to another uh, BMS flex and you are good to go with uh, the original battery and everything looks okay phone charge everything looks fine so I guess uh, that's it for this video Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. And uh, catch you guys in another pair video, I guess. Peace out.